Chan. Today I'm back with another video. This time we're going to be planning the week ahead. We really are ahead this time. It's only Saturday and I'm going to be doing next week. And next week, of course, has my beautiful Jensen's birthday in it. Now, I know this is not really a boyish birthday kit, but to be honest, I don't really have anything. I should have sorted myself out a bit better and maybe found some kind of xbox gaming kits and made that into a birthday kit or anything like that if you know of any more boyish birthday kits uh do let me know in the comments down below and i have to pick it up from my memory planner when i do that but we can make it work with this i have got a couple of pookie's birthday kits so i don't have a full kit but i do have lots of sheets from I've had this kit three times, so I've got more than enough here. So I've got six full boxes on this page, and then I've got one on here which takes us to seven. I've got some trackers on the bottom of that one, and I have got some build juice on the bottom of that one. The reason why they are different is because this is from the White Space Mini Kit, and this one is from the EC Vertical Full Boxes. Uh, so yeah, there are some differences. Then I have got some date dots on this one, and I have got my washi date dots and date covers on this one. We've got some headers on there. We've got some functionals and some more headers. We've got some functionals here. We've got some checklists and a Monday through Sunday and some more functionals there. And I think I'm going to need to pull some from the front of my reusable sticker book, which is functional as well. We've got all of these in here that we can pull from. So we're going to be just fine and have just enough. So let's get into the right week then. The reason why I'm filming this video so soon is because obviously it's Jensen's birthday on Monday and Chris has taken four days off work. I don't get to film when Chris is off just because the house is too noisy. Um, and I film in the back room and obviously Paige is in the front room now and she's, apart from the screaming the other day, like the evil laugh, um, she's relatively quiet, she's really good. But not that Chris is noisy, but when there's two people in the room together, as there would be Paige and Chris, they talk to each other and so you'd be able to hear it in the background. So yeah, I'm filming this early so you get it. That's not going to make any difference to you guys. I have lots of videos pre-filmed, so you'll still get loads of videos next week. You won't even know that I haven't been filming. And then when Chris goes back to work, I'll get to play catch up again. Uh, I feel like I've been on the ball with my video uploads lately. Proud of myself. Woohoo, go me. So let's start then with the date covers. What layout are we going to do? Let's do the split in half that I was going to do last week but then got distracted by the split in half that way. So I just need to find a week where I did it and then just work out where the line needs to be. Okay, here we go. 15 and a half. So we can do that. Now we've got a bit of a humpy situation going on at the moment. But we're just making it work. Okay. And when I do this layout and draw the line, it looks like there's more space at the top than there is at the bottom, but that's because I'm going to put the washi up here. So we don't need to worry about that. I'll just leave that for now so that doesn't... Um, end up smearing right so what do i have here on the date covers i have a monday through sunday but i don't have a this week so i need to pull in something to put a this week on i'll just use one of these skinnies at the bottom what day monday is a blue so i don't want a blue um i guess i can use a pink glittery one then okay there we go and then if I just put that down here. Just thinking about my washi situation. I've got a skinny piece and a bigger piece. I'm gonna put the bigger piece on this page. Let's do that first. I'll put the bigger piece on this page and then the skinny piece can go on the second half of the week. We just need to trim the end of there. Okay. And then this one. It's an awful miserable day outside. The rain is absolutely teeming it down. Mm. 
I'm going to finish this video and make myself a nice cup of tea, I think. I'm still doing my intermittent fasting. I've been doing okay with it. I've been doing, actually, give myself credit, I've been doing quite good with it, actually. I have been doing quite good with it. I've been sticking to the fast. So when I've been fasting, I have fasted for the 18 hours or 17 hours. But I'll take anything over 16 hours because before I was doing a 16-8. So anything that's over 16 hours is a win for me. My problem is delaying the fast. Hmm. So like the other day, I'd eaten my lunch and I was like, right, so I've had a breakfast and I've had a lunch. I'm going to not have anything else later on. And what I'll do is I'll start my fast and then we'll go on to the next day. But then I got peckish and so I fancied a piece of toast. So I had a piece of toast and then moved to the start of the fast till after the piece of toast. I still did, I think that day I did do the 18 hours. It's kind of not how it works, right? Just sort of cheating a little bit. But I'm still proud of myself because old me would have been like, ah, well, you've broken it now. Just eat loads of crap. So, and I've been drinking loads and loads of water as well. I'll show you in a minute my, um, my cup. I bought one of those hydro jugs and it is humongous. When you fill it, it's actually quite heavy to hold. But I'm working with it. I'll show you now. I don't want it to spill. But I have got this beast. Like, it's huge. It's absolutely humongous. Uh, I think I paid 10 99 for it. It's quite good quality, actually. And it, they had a deal on where you got the little jumper to put on it. It has its own jumper, but I don't use it. Because it's fabric and it gets wet and it just really annoys me. So I just have it in the plastic. But, I mean, it's tie-dye and it makes it look fancy. Like, I get why they do that. You know, I get why that's a thing. Why people might want a jumper for their... Um, drinks but I don't right so we're gonna put some glitter headers down because this kit very handily comes with some glitter headers just wondering whether or not I want to put one on here what do you think yeah that's all right and it splits it's gonna split up the uh, the day a bit isn't it Okay, so there we go for that. I do quite like this layout, but I definitely think I prefer this layout. But it's nice to have every week look different, isn't it? I think it's about time I did a bit of looking on Instagram for some inspiration and came up with some new layouts. I do have like, you know, four or five in my locker, but I do worry that it's a bit the same for you guys all the time. Um, right then, I am going to use the date dots that come in the kit just because I've got them and they're actually quite cute, all different coloured. But where are the ones that were started? I've got them twice. So I've got them on this sheet. Where is the other sheet that's got them on? Am I being daft? Have I lost a sheet? How have I lost a sheet? Is it on the floor? Under here? It's here. Okay. I mean, I don't suppose it matters really which sheet I use it from, but we'll go with this one because this is the one where the date dots are that we're using. So, Monday is the 14th. Like I said, that is my firstborn child's birthday. And he is 14. And I'm not quite sure how that happened. And that makes me old. <laughs> No, I don't want to be old. There we go. Right then, so let's work with the this week section. And we're going to put down a Monday through Sunday. I like to do a bit of meal tracking over there. I've only got the seven boxes, which means that we're not going to have a box on this side. But that's okay, because I've got this meal tracker, which is full box size. So it's not going to look odd, if you know what I mean. And then... I need something sort of to line up here. Um, do we have any page flags? This is cute. Let's use this as a spare from the other side of the kit. And then I'm going to put a to-do in there. The only problem is it's probably going to be a different script. I don't think I have a swirly script to do. I 
could use an important. Let me use an important. I do have a couple of important things. It's that time of year again where I need to start making uniform lists because obviously the summer holidays are disappearing and the kids are going to be getting ready to go back to school quite soon, you know. Put my trackers on. We're going to do two like we normally do. We should just about be able to squeeze them on. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to manage another four months in here, you know. Maybe I should think about buying it. But you see, if I buy a half year Stalogy, I'm going to have most of these pages left. Which is just going to be a shame, isn't it? I'm going to try and see if I can make it work for as long as I can. I mean, if it doesn't work this year, I just don't do it again, you know. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. We need to put skincare and we need to put medication down so I'm just looking for a couple of stickers to mark that medication there I should have some skincare stickers from Happy Shape Papery in here somewhere There we go, that's what I was looking for. Medication and skincare, perfect. And then I just want to write down uniform, de-stash. I don't have any birthdays coming up, so that should be okay think that's it for now right then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my deco boxes underneath the date covers just because I think it's going to look cute that way I'm going to put the happy birthday on Monday because that is Jensen's actual birthday I'm not entirely sure what he wants to do he said something about going to so there's like a special arcade that is um popped up in our town and you pay I think it's 16 95 entry each but then you get to play on everything like you don't have to put money in the machines and you can stay as long as you want and i think that's what he's decided that he wants to do uh, and he wants taco bell as well but chris has got four days off so we can do both things but it's just a case of on which day we do what There we go. He's obviously far too old for parties and stuff like that now. Oh, we just leave it to we just leave it to the kids to decide what they want to do on their birthdays. Paige wanted a party for the last couple of years, but she's been saying to me it's not her birthday until January, obviously, but she's been saying to me recently that she doesn't want to party this time. She just wants to go and do something with a couple of friends, which is fine, absolutely fine. Whatever it is she wants to do, we can do. go uh so where are my date covers again here we go thursday friday saturday sunday No Formula One race again because we are in the summer break. Can't wait for that to be over. <laughs> 17. And we're at, are we at Zandorf when we come back? I think so. Okay, there we go. That takes us to the 20th and then I think that's only two weeks until they go back to school, isn't it? Blimey. Let's do the headers then. One, 
two, three and four. And then again with the full boxes, doesn't really matter now where I'm putting these. I got the birthday one down that I wanted. Not sure if he'll have a birthday cake. He's not the biggest fan. Oh, he'll have a cheesecake. Not the biggest fan of cake. Do you know what? I question sometimes. If he didn't have my face, then I would be definitely questioning whether he'd been switched at birth if he was even mine. Because he doesn't like chocolate and he doesn't like chips. How can he be mine? <laughs> Surely I didn't spawn a kid that doesn't like chocolate and chips, but I did. Blimey. Not a problem with Paige, obviously. No such problem. Now then, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm not going to put a to-do list on any of these. I am just going to leave it as is, and we're just going to go as the week goes on, putting down things that we did. So what we need to do is have a look in here. I'm going to see the greatest days on the 18th with Alison, and obviously we need to mark down Jensen's birthday. So let's do that. And then I think that's going to be it for us. So where's my little writing on thing? There it is. I did pull out the birthday folder which is here and I think I'm going to use one of these and write Jensen Jensen happy birthday or Jensen it's my birthday it's my birthday bitch not that one yeah but we'll use this um let's do it on a bigger box and let's write Jensen's 14th birthday We've not got too much space here, have we? Shall we start with a bigger box out of here? What do I have? Um, I'm going to go with this one, I think. That should give me enough space to write what I want. Just stick it on here to write on. Okay, so we'll put this. And then I'm going to use one of my scripts from Happy Sherpa Papery. And then which one of these are we going to use? Let's do a happy birthday. Um, should we do it underneath? Or should we do it to the side? No, let's do it to the side. Oh, don't stick where I don't want you to. There we go. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like that. And then I'm going to need a bigger box again because it's something bigger to write on it. But like I said, on Friday, I'm going to go and see Greatest Days with Alison. And I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use this blue one, I think. the show we actually went to see the film so if you don't know what the greatest days is it's um a show based on the hits of take that who i was a huge fan of when i was younger oh i love marco and if destroyed still true um and yeah we went to see the cinema 
film which was really good but we already had the actual show booked which is meant to be even better so I'm super excited to go and see that just gonna go into my icons and see if I've got any stickers to mark that down obviously I don't have any take that stickers can you imagine if this type of planning situation was a thing when we were kids and um I said well we were kids like, like you were all my age uh, but yeah, my diary would have been, I mean, I had a book. Who did this, right? I had a book and it's a bit Mean Girls, but I feel like I got there first because obviously Mean Girls came out when I was older. But me and my friend Jenny, we had this book and we used to pass it between ourselves. So she'd have it, take it home, write loads of things in it. And then I'd have it, take it home, write loads of things in it. And like then we'd read it and then write it. And, like, we saw each other every single day, every day at school, every day off school because we were best friends. And yet we still wrote, and I'm talking about pages and pages. And we used to fancy the boy that worked in HMV uptown. He was called Nick, I think. And he was like classic like beach boy looking kind of guy. Long blonde curtains. And he was so much older than us. We were like 12 or 13 and he was probably about 25, but we were convinced that one of us would bag him. Oh, dearie me. But yeah, wow. Anyway, what a blast in the past that was, thinking about take that in my youth. What sticker am I going to put down then to mark this? Oh, I hate it when this happens in this book. You see, we've ruined that one. And that one, but we'll put this one back. So what sticker are we going to put down to mark this then? It needs to be something happy because it's going to be a good time. I will sing in the aisles. I am a let's get up and sing in the aisles kind of girl. Only if everybody else is doing it, you know. But if everybody's getting up and singing and dancing, then I'm going to get up and sing and dance. Um, I just need a smiley happy sticker. Shall I put that one down? I'm going to put that one down. There will be no other opportunity when I ever put that down. I'm not a karaoke girl. I can't sing. I can't hold a tune to save my life. Okay, so that's what I've put down there. And that's it. That is all we have got planned. Wednesday, I need to put down... Brian wants Chris to go and cut his hair because he's got a hospital appointment on Thursday. I don't need to write that down because we've arranged patient transport, so that's good. Um, but I'm just going to put cut brains here. So we don't forget to go and do that. Brian is one of those typical older gentlemen, and I'm sure that a lot of people's granddads are like this, but not so much now, obviously, because of the struggles that he's going through. But he has always gone to a doctor's appointment with a suit on, do you know what I mean? And I'll go around sometimes in the past and I'll be like, where are you going all suave? And he'll be like, oh, I've just got an appointment at the doctor's. I'm like, you dress up for your doctor. My doctor's lucky if I'm out of my PJs. <laughs> but yeah, so he can't manage, obviously, to do that anymore. But he's, he'll still have a haircut before he goes to the doctor's. And I definitely do have some hair stickers. Here they are. A little comb and a little pair of scissors. The colour will go nicely with the kit as well. So, there we have it. That is this week planned. Ready to start Jensen's birthday week in my B6 Salad And that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I love you forever. And I'll see you soon. Bye.